Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Sunday booster cracking. And today, we've got New Dawn Rises. We're finally going to jump into it here since we took a little break for Prologue of Atrashia. So now we can jump in and open our next box of New Dawn. So let's jump into this thing. There we go. All right. Cracking straight into it. We'll cruise through this one and see what we can find. Maybe we'll get that super secret rare Anubis. That's what I'm looking for. All right, ruler pack. I think we're gonna have the same thing in this one that we did last time, but let's just make sure. Boom, our nice promo card still looks good. And a bunch of other stones and goodies. Very nice. All right, jumping into the first pack. Let's see what we can get. Ninja Scouts. Disease rats, and we've got at the end, oh, did I pass it? Nope, oh, I'm already getting confused. All right, we've got the Nitron Blade, and then Life Severing Blade as our rare full art. Very nice, good way to start. Into the next, let's go. We're just gonna skip all the way through to the good stuff here. There's our rare Atlantis, the Wielder of Knowledge. I don't think we've gotten him, and behind it, Forgotten Sanctuary, Lost Isle. Oh, there we go. Let's just dip on through here to the end. We've got Magic Stone of Tranquility. Very nice. Oh, yes. Did this happen last time? Like second pack in, we got the full art Anubis. That's crazy. That's super crazy, actually. Wow. All right. Well, I'll definitely take it. That's awesome. All right. Second pack Anubis. Wow. All right. Well, we still need to try to find the secret rare of her. I don't know if we can get it now, but we'll see. Burial Rites as a rare, and then Magic Stone of Omnis Omniscience. Ooh, that's a cool looking uncommon foil. I love how you can open these boxes and think you found and saw every card since the sets are kind of low numbers usually, and then you still find stuff that you haven't seen. We've got Oborozukio, very nice. All right, we need the full art of her though. That would be sweet, but she is a good card to get, absolutely. Behind it, a Venomous Scorpion. Next pack, all right, scroll to the back. Scroll on through, we've got Ophelia, Angel of Guidance as our super rare, and Messenger of Death, just a common. There we go, I think we saw the rare. Yep, Heaven Thundering Strike, and Massive Growth as our rare full art. Rip it, let's go. Oh, seeing some shininess. Love seeing the shininess. There's our super rare, Karua, the Crow of Tengu, whatever you want to say with that one. And Eaton Momen. Oh yeah, this is just the common cat kite. Rip it, dip it, and go to the back. We've got right behind the sun, common magic stone of dueling. And then the full art of Atlantis, the wielder of knowledge. All right, cool. We're doing pretty good with our full art rares. I'm pretty happy so far. All right, into this. We've got Life Severing Blade as our rare and Eccentric Oni. If you haven't seen the videos of us opening up the first set, the uh, link will be in the description. You can go back and rewatch us opening up the box for the first time where we go through all these commons and uncommons more effectively, I guess. Massive Growth as our rare. And then we've got Azazel, the Fallen Angel of Gloom full art. Such a nice full art, still love this one. Secret rare, secret rare. Just want the secret rare. I don't think we got it on this one. All right, what's behind it? Baal, the evil from the scriptures and scorching winds. Whoop. There we go. Oh my gosh, have I really been recording like this the whole time? Oh no, oh no. What am I gonna do about that? All right, well, Black Spot Tiger, I just realized I was recording in vertical for the first five minutes of the video, so that's awesome. Oh boy, uh, you gotta love these phones when they auto-rotate on you and you start recording in vertical. Uh, man, I don't know how I'm gonna edit that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, I guess crop it or something? I don't know, but we are back to normal. I'll probably have to crop it and do something weird just to make it watchable, really appropriate. YouTuber watching it. We've got Kunli and Iron Cauldron Witch. That's crazy. Ah, oh, man. Well, all right. When you live and you learn, we're gonna have to make do with what we got. We got Osiris, though, Lord of the Afterlife. Pretty cool looking card. Haven't seen him yet. And the full art of Magic Stone of Dueling. Awesome. 
Next pack. Oh, ripping the will points over here. We've got our rare as Squall of the Tengu, and then Jubilee the One-Eyed Swordsmaster as our full art. All these rare full arts, I love it. Okay, let's keep going. What do we got here? Magic Stone of Omninescence, and then we got Protection of the Angels, which is a decent card, I believe, from what I remember. Oh yeah, Spear of the Valkyries, full art uncommon. This is such a sweet card, love it. Huh. Hit. There we go. Go, 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 go. We've got Angel of Knowledge, Balmog as our rare, and then Whispers of the Devil. We are cruising this box. Let me just say, even though half the box was recorded in vertical, we've got Jormonger, the little eater of worlds, and we got the one who gazes at the soul just to common. We got people talking outside while I'm trying to record. I gotta close my window. Ah, silence. It's a beautiful thing. So I just remembered, I was looking at my cards there and I forgot that there's some uncommons that have some value, so I'm gonna have to go back and see which ones we got of those. All right, Lemuria of the Magic Boomerang, lame card, and Child of the Hero, also a lame card. So yeah, I'll go through at the end and pull out the uncommons that I think have some value just so we can tack those on. But uh, behind this, we've got Merlin, the control unit of the Sky Round, and then we've got Magic Stone of Corruption, sweet. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, Carrier, let's go into right to the back here. We've got Scourd, Valkyrie of the Future, which is our promo card. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice, I didn't get this one in the last box. Azuki over here, full art, looking good. Awesome, that one looks fantastic. I feel like this box has been great so far with all these full art rares and stuff like that. It's been pretty good. Magic of Corruption, we've got the Magic Boomerang Girl, which is lame and a corpse demon. Next one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom. Invitation. And then we've got our Jubal, the One-Eyed Swordsmaster. And then we got Hamill, the Sound of Temptation, full art. He's not worth crap. Oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, seeing some shininess. We got Azel as our rare Azazel, the fallen angel. Behind it, whispers of an angel as a common full art. Next one. Let's go. Back, back, back. And we've got Corpse Sorcerer. Oh, all right. Second Azazel, the fallen angel of gloom. Two in a row. And then we got Fresh Blood Vampire. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ninja Scout right on the front. See, I believe these have some value, so I'm gonna count up how many of these we actually pulled in the box at the end. But behind it, we've got our good card to find, Look of Corruption, that's worth a couple bucks, and if you can find the full art, it's worth even more, I believe. That was a good card to get last time. Behind it, Torrent of Energy. Yeah, Look of Corruption, that was the card, man. That was the one that threw me for a loop last time, that's for sure. Hamlin, and then we've got Ophelia, full art, Angel of Guidance. Keep it going right to the end, uncommon, and we've got Siegfried the Hundred Years Hero. Sweet card. I don't think I got him in a full art yet. An Apostle of the Devil. Oh, yeah. All right. Go, 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 go. Oh, we got Anubis again. All right. Sweet. Two Anubis again. That's awesome. Behind it, the little sliver bird of the Lost Isles. Boom. Oh. For a second, I thought that was March of the Dead. I'm like, was this the March of the Dead box? Ah, oh, did I forget? Magic Stone of Adventure, Magic Stone of Faith. That's a good one. And we've got Burial Rites as a rare full art. We are almost done with the box. That's crazy, man. That's crazy talk. Whispers. And then we've got Ayu the Mysterious Wanderer as our rare. Behind it, full art of Baal, the evil from the scriptures. Frickin' dope. Huh. Oh, Rip in the back, rip in the back. There we go. Magic Stone. And then we've got another uncommon. Then we've got Lemira, which nobody cares about. And then we've got a Firebird. I think I only see three more packs in the box. That's nuts, man. All right, going through, going through. Magic Stone of Chaos as our rare. Behind it, Angel of Alchemy. Sweet looking card. Two more packs. Let's get into it here. Boom, 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 Spear of the Valkyrie. Osiris again, Lord of the Afterlife as our rare, and behind it, Chainbind, uncommon. Last pack, what will we find? I think we missed our opportunity for a super rare, but 
How dope would it be if we found it at the very end? All right, Magic Stone of the Undead is our rare and then explore the unknown as an uncommon full art. All right, so we only got two of these Vivians the Mechanical Fairy, but I believe these are the ones that hold a little bit of value. So if so, totals up on screen for these and we'll add them to the total. All right, here's our pulls of the day. Of course, we've got our Magic Stones, Magic Stone of Chaos, Magic Stone of the Undead, and Magic Stone of Faith, I believe all hold a couple bucks worth of value. And of course we've got Look of Corruption, which should be, oh man, I don't even remember what this card was worth, like 10 to $15 or something like that. And then we've got Life Severing Blade, which I believe holds some good value too from the last time I looked them up. Uh, we didn't pull this one in the last box, so I, but I do remember seeing it. So we'll see how much that one goes for. And Fallen Angel of Gloom, nice full art. Of course, our Anubis will hold a few dollars as well as a full art. And then we've got the Oberozuki and then her full art version. So definitely a great box. I think we did pretty darn well. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for more Force of Will unboxings. We do take polls on the Instagram like we did with this box for what box we should be opening up next. So make sure to follow me at Lockdown51 on Instagram and check it out for and look out for those polls. Um, and yeah, so if you enjoyed, leave a comment down below and stay tuned for more. We will see you guys in the next video, even though I forgot the totals. <laughs> Yeah, I totally forgot the totals. Totals up on screen now for how we did in the box. Bam, there they are right here. See that? Look at that. That's a nice total right there, huh? Mmm, very nice. Leave a like if that's a good total. I paid 55 for the box, so if we got more than $55 worth back in the box, you gotta leave a like. That's how it works. But all right, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned, and we will see you in the next episode.